Robin Cooper here. Today's song is very different, and I wanted to explain it before I went ahead and let it play so that you understand why I wrote it. Um, one thing about being autistic is that I do a lot of my art constantly. Um, sort of an OCD type of thing. But before I started doing this, for those of you who do know me, and you probably will agree, I'm very awkward and socially awkward. And I don't really know how to act real well um, within a group. Um, I can get by, but most of the time I'm quiet. When I was a little girl, and I guess this is the part I want you to understand. When I was a little girl, I didn't fit in anywhere. And when I went to kindergarten, I was so upset and terrified um, about going to school. And it was just such a horrible experience for me that I literally went to the bathroom in my pants in kindergarten. And they told me that I couldn't stay. And so um, my mom had to take me home. And... As I got older, I just couldn't seem to fit in. And so my mom decided to put me into theatrics. And there was a school for children, believe it or not. And um, it was just had a small group of kids. And we were taught every Saturday from about 8 a.m. to about um, 4 p.m. And in the morning, we had classes just like school. And then in the evening, uh, in the afternoons, we had play practice, and every semester we did a play. And I did this for years. Uh, I started about at the age of five, and um, I went up through high school in this theater. <clears throat> and I think it's still running. I don't know if they still have children's programs, but it's actually in Ohio. And um, But anyhow, I did go there, and it's the place that I feel the most comfortable is in a theater. Um, I don't know why, but when I get in front of somebody as if it's some kind of a show, I do fine. But it, when I have to interact in a normal conversation, everyday kind of thing, I don't do so well. And most of the time, I'll stare at you. And again, for those of you who know me, you're probably going, yeah. <laughs> um, or I'll say something, or I'll say weird things sometimes because I don't really understand the conversation or maybe I'm just trying to fit in so I'll just try to say something but it usually doesn't um, it doesn't usually correlate. Anyway, that being said, um, in the theater and in, in life actually, um, a lot of people don't understand that there's always competition. Well, maybe you do understand, but there's always competition. And it doesn't matter if you're in the theatrics or whatever. And unfortunately, sometimes if you produce a lot, like I do, you can be called a show-off. And um, I'm not. Um, I hope that you guys don't think that because I'm really not showing off. All I want is for you to listen. Um, you know, nobody really listened to me when I was a kid. Uh, most of the time, I sat and played the piano and I played for hours. And I was by myself. And so that's what this song's about. And, yeah, this makes me really feel vulnerable. I will admit that. Um, but I think it's important that you understand, because I'm trying to show you a little bit about the autistic world, uh, because we are socially awkward, and we don't know how to fit in. And so most of the time, we don't. So, anyway... Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's it's a little um, it's a little rough, a little bit. But at the end of it, I tried to brighten it up to say that you know there are people that are out there that that grab you and hug you and tell you you know I love you to death, and you could be autistic all you want, you still I love you. And there are people in my life that do that, and and I'm so appreciative for them. So anyway, um, please subscribe, and if you like my stuff, please share with a friend. And as always, I want to thank you. I do want to thank you. I want to thank you for everything you guys do, the comments and the support and the enthusiasm and everything that you do, because I really do appreciate it. And thank you for your time. You watching these videos, I'm not alone anymore.
I have people actually wanting to watch my stuff, and you just don't know how much that means to me. So, thank you. She's sort of a show-off. Yeah, I don't like her either. I guess we should just kind of turn away from her. Why are they acting like that? Why don't they like me? I believe that they might think that you're a little bit of a show-off, Polly. Oh, no! What? I'm not sure I understand. Well, maybe it's because that you're not more social. You uh, stay by yourself. You don't really talk to them. Maybe you should try. What should I say? No. Maybe apologize. Explain why you are the way you are. Huh. No challenge there. I'm sorry. I don't mean anything from my behavior. I was excited, you see. Yeah, honey. 